This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Lewis theory of acids and bases. Let's start with the definitions. A Lewis acid is a lone pair acceptor. A Lewis base is a lone pair donor. Here we have the reaction of NH3, which is ammonia, and BF3, which is boron trifluoride. As you can see, NH3 has a lone pair of electrons, and boron trifluoride has an incomplete octet, which means it only has six electrons in its valence shell. NH3 is a Lewis base because it's able to donate the lone pair of electrons to BF3, which is a Lewis acid. A coordinate covalent bond is formed between the acid and the base, which is shown by this arrow here. A coordinate covalent bond is formed when one species provides both the electrons in the bond. Transition metal ions, such as the copper 2 plus ion, in solution, are Lewis acids. Ligands, such as H2O, are Lewis bases. Here we have an example of a complex ion, formed from a copper 2 plus ion and six water molecules, which are known as ligands. The central metal ion, which is the copper 2 plus ion, is acting as a Lewis acid by accepting these lone pairs of electrons from the water molecules. The water molecules are donating the lone pairs of electrons on the oxygen atom to the copper 2 plus ion. Therefore, they are acting as Lewis bases. And as you can see, the arrows represent the coordinate covalent bonds formed between the ligands and the central metal ion. And finally, we look at nucleophiles and electrophiles. Nucleophiles are electron-rich species that donate a lone pair of electrons. They are Lewis bases. Here we have some examples of nucleophiles. We have the hydroxide ion, the chloride ion, and ammonia. Electrophiles are electron-deficient species that accept a lone pair of electrons. They are Lewis acids. And here we have some examples of electrophiles. We have boron trifluoride, the carbocation, and the copper 2 plus ion.